Okay, this is lab 14, configuring network access protection or NAP. This lab is found in Administering Windows Server 2012 R2 lab manual in preparation for exam 70-411 and this is part of the MOAC or Microsoft Official Academic um, Course series. During this video, we're going to look at exercise 14.1, which is installing health registration authority role on an MPS server. So I'll go ahead and just scroll down a little bit. So in exercise 14.1, the overview network access protection or NAP, which is used to control who can access a network based on the security health of a client, is one of the more complicated installations during this course. Before you can configure your NAP, you must add a health registration authority role to the current MPS installation on RWDC01 so that it can monitor the connections on the MPS server. So we're going to start by logging on to the RWDC01 as Contoso Administrator. And we're going to have to go to our dashboard and click on add, Manage, Add Roles and Features, and add the Network Policy and Access Services. So let's go ahead and get started. I already have my RWDC up. It's not on yet, so I'll go ahead and get it turned on. Now, while I wait for this to finish booting up, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And I just want to show you Hyper-V. So before you start a new lab, I strongly recommend right-clicking on the name of the machine and creating a checkpoint. Creating a checkpoint allows you to go back to this original state in case you make a mistake somewhere along the process and you say, you know what, I just want to redo this lab. Well, that checkpoint allows you to do that without having to recreate everything. I've learned from experience, it only takes a couple of seconds to do your restore point and it's well worth having because nobody is perfect and it's really easy to make a mistake that you can't undo. Um, I've also previously done exports of all of my machines. And I, do, I don't do that every lab. I do it every couple of labs. Um, and again, it just provides me that extra backup. It's a little bit of redundancy, if you will. Um, in case something happens to my machine or to my live machine, it just gives me that extra insurance. So I don't have to go back from the very beginning to redo everything to get up to this point. Um, the last um, export that I did was through Lab 12, and I'll probably do one after Lab 14, and then I'll probably do one after Lab 16. So every two or three, I do recommend doing an export to a separate folder. Um, and then once you get past that point, once you have your full export set done, you can go back and delete the older ones. Unless you want to go and redo a section of an exercise from a certain point. Like I might want to keep my um, setup images and I'll use those for my each time that I teach this particular class. But I won't keep the um, other interval exports because I don't need them. It takes up a lot of space and I know that's subjective but just to give you guys an idea if I go here this is my uh, week 3 image you can see it's 59.7 gig my week 2 images was 
was 59.6. So you don't want to keep all this extra stuff on your hard drive if you don't, if you don't, if you can't, if you can help it. Um, I've also created copies on external hard drives. Again, that's just more for housekeeping. Again, I cannot reiterate how important it is to keep or to create that uh, checkpoint just so we can always go back to it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and continue. We're going to go ahead and click on Manage and then Add Rules and Features and then Next and then Next again and then Next again. Now here we're going to expand Network Policy and Access Services. So you can see we currently have one of three installed. And we want to click to select the Health Registration Authority. And then go ahead and add features. And then next, next, next. On the certification authority, we want to use the local CA to issue health certificates for the um, HRA server. And then we're going to go ahead and click on Next, on the authentication requirements page, we want to click on yes, and then next, we want to make sure choose an existing certification for SSL encryption is selected. And it is. We want to click to highlight the rwdc01.contoso. And then next. And then install. And I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while we wait for this. Okay, we received the installation succeeded on rwdc01.contoso.com. If you are following along in your lab manual and you're required to do so, this would be where you would take your next uh, print screen. We'll go ahead and click on close. And that is the end of this exercise and the end of this video. The next video will, will go into exercise 14.2, which is configuring the NAP uh, enforcement for the DHCP.